Good afternoon and welcome to this function. I apologize for the small delay, uh, but we'll get on very quickly. Uh, we have all the student participants here. Can you please raise your hand for the part? Oh, not bad. Even the, uh, the schedule in this semester time, has been, thank you very much for coming here. I also have my teams uh, who actually work on the Akash project and other associated details of this project. So, for the benefit of others who are assembled here, uh, our friend Ron Mehta, an alumnus of the institute, had announced a prize competition for developing Akash applications. Some 300 people participated. Uh, they were given training. Then they found the work was very hard, so some dropped out, but some persisted. And we now have the final winners. So I thought it was most appropriate that when Ron was visiting, along with some dignitaries from Cooper Union, or another event in the Institute, we could organize a small event for the prize distribution and also to honor the participants who spent a lot of their time uh, in, in working on this. I am very pleased to request our guests to come and sit on the dais. Uh, may I request uh, my colleagues, uh, uh, Dean and Associate Dean of R&D, uh, Professor Manjumdar and Professor Kalyatta, and Dean of ACR, uh, Professor Ravi Sina. Oh, Kalyatta needs to go. I would like to invite our guests. Uh, so, Professor Jamshid Parucha is the president of uh, Cooper Union in here with us. Uh, along with him is uh, Teresa with the team. And Professor, sorry, I forgot your name. Javelis. Javelis, yes. Mr. Javelis, may I request all of them to come here? Unfortunately, in my time, the opportunities in India did not exist to a great degree. So, like most of my classmates, I went to the U.S., studied there, and then started working and so on. But I've never forgotten IIT Bombay. Uh, it's in my heart. And if you ask uh, my wife or my two grown-up sons who are all physicians, they'll say, Dad has a chip on his shoulder because he thinks if you didn't graduate from IIT, then you must be a dummy. <laughs> so, with that in mind, one thing uh, we believe as alums of uh, one of the best institute, probably the number one institute in India, it is our duty almost to give back. And in any small way that you can, you, it's every bit worth it. So, with that in mind, when I was here in August with Professor Fatak, 
we worked out a program that his team had done a marvelous job in developing and managing the project, the Akash tablet project, which received a lot of negatives in the beginning, but has turned out to be truly the world's cheapest tablet. That what can we do? It's a tablet is as good as the apps that you develop. Now I'm a computer dinosaur. The amount of computers that I use is basically to look at my emails. I know how to use Excel. I use Excel. I use Word. I do some internet Google search. Now I can do a search on the Akash, and I guess that's to the extent of it. So we. Uh, deciding that I'll take uh, 2,500, um, we'll open up uh, three prizes. The best app, developer, app uh, developed on the Akash will get a prize of $1,250. The second one was $750, and I believe the third one was $500. And uh, Deepak, Professor Fatak tells me that the actual money the teams that win will get will be the on the date on which the dollars are transferred, whatever the exchange rate is. So don't hold me to exactly how many rupees you'll get. But I can guarantee you that the teams that won and the teams that participated have all need to be congratulated for a job done wonderfully. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ron. I would now like to read out the names of uh, participants. Uh, or should we first do the winners? <laughs> it depends on what the students so The problem is that they have actually segregated the participant certificates as winner certificates and participant certificates. If I call the participants, they will know who the winners are. All right, we'll do the winners first. <laughs> uh, okay. So as you know, there were three prizes. The evaluation was rigorous. But what I would like to tell you is that the winning entry, the three winning entries, uh, produced applications which were not only useful applications, but the code written was written very professionally. And these compare favorably or are better there was similar national contest that we had done on. So that means the work done by our students is actually compared. As you all know, we release all apps in, uh, and content in open source. So have we got a letter from them that they agree to? I hope you all agree that all your submissions can be released in open source. I think that we have mentioned. Is there somebody who is trying to start a startup using that idea? <laughs> Could be. That fellow looks confused. He wants to make money on that. So that's what okay. we'll discuss this offline. So let me read out uh, the winners. The third prize goes to a project called Student Manager, the Fantastic Four. The team members are Pushra, Project Nayar, Gadarat, and Gadarat. And Ajit Sarkar. I request them to come and receive their. Why don't you come out here, Ron? Sure. Pushkara Chilvakar. Sujat Nayak. Jagarajan Radha Krishnan. Ajinkya Sinkar. Let me call the... No, let me speak Spanish here. Because they will be coming. The second prize goes to a project called Plan A. I don't know why they don't believe in Plan B or Plan C. <laughs> there are two members of the team. Vijay Singh Kocher and we, Sai Saket Ramles. We have a big hand. Vijay Singh Kocher and Sai Saketra. Thank you. The 
The first prize goes to a project called Video Bucket. The team members are Adil Jambal and Adil
uh, and that uh, um, you'll learn more about Cooper Union. It's an astonishing place. It's very much like IIT. It's very high level, very rigorous, very highly selective. You may not have heard that much about it, but uh, it has engineering, architecture, and art. It's right in the heart of uh, Manhattan. And uh, uh, it's an institution that's completely devoted to the intellectual development of its students, as is IIT. Let me just end with some personal reflections. Uh, I was, uh, uh, I did not go to IIT. I uh, went, I grew up in Mumbai, Bombay, and uh, went to America for college. But my father, was an engineer, and he used to come to IIT to uh, serve on some thesis uh, committees, and so I would sometimes tag along. This was a long time ago, uh, before you were, all were born. Uh, and he was the first structural engineer that we know of in India who used computers in, uh, in design. He used to use the TIFR computer. There were three computers in Bombay in the um, early mid 1970s the early 1970s one was at the ifr one was at baba atomic research center and one was at bombay university i don't know if i even iit had yeah, a computer you had a russian clunker okay yeah. 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 and uh, so i was very fortunate then to learn programming from my father when i was a kid uh fortran and i used to he used to take me to the tifr and we punch out the cards and 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 so on and to see how far India has come in being the global leader in software development is just astonishing. Uh, so uh, we are so delighted and I'm personally so moved to see all of you, all of this talent here. You are you know, the next generation of, of software leaders in the world uh, and leaders of all kinds. So congratulations and thank you for your hospitality. Thank you very much, Professor Dr. Uh, I should have actually figured out that our guests would be interested in playing with Akash tablets. My mistake. I acknowledge it. I also notice that our guests are going to be here even tomorrow morning. Yes. Uh, so, is there anybody from Log Akash Logistics team here? Okay. So, let me first thank two people whose teams actually have worked on the Akash project for application content development. One is led by Parag Tiwari. Is Parag here? Yeah. And another is led by uh, Rajesh Kushalkar. Is Rajesh here? So Rajesh's team works on hardware extensions and hardware uh, uh, attachments to be added. So they do the robo control stuff and the robo sensor and other things. Uh, so would uh, somebody ensure that uh, our senior manager of logistics, Shaukat Ali, is informed that three tablets uh, should be made ready and should be sent to the main building at the appropriate place where our guests will be coming tomorrow and they are handed over. It will be our pleasure, sir. And please make sure that apart from the standard applications, the three winning apps are also available. Yes. Uh, I would like to thank all the people who helped me put up this event at a very short notice. So my events team, uh, two of them, Vaishali and uh, I keep forgetting his name. Yes, yes, Varda is what I call him. His full name is Varad Raja. So thank you very much. But the uh, last person I would like to acknowledge before we break off for lunch uh, incidentally, the lunch for all the invitees are, is, is served in the fire here. It's unfortunately a packed lunch, but it is a decent lunch. And I think hostelites would prefer that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the last person I would like to acknowledge is my colleague, Professor Kannan Maukanya, who is actually the Kannan University and so his nameplate was discreetly removed when it was noticed that he was missing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what I would like to mention is that the Akash project, as you know, is part of a larger activity being conducted under national mission for education using ICT. And there are some 10 or 12 projects that are going on in the institute. 
and Professor Kannan Malkalya is the single point coordinator for all those projects. Professor Kalyapan and uh, Professor Mazumdar know uh, the kind of effort that he is putting in and the kind of money that he has got in. In fact, he has contributed to my team being the richest team in India uh, for doing these R&D projects. So some contribution comes from that. In particular, he has been single-mindedly following up on Akash right from the beginning, right from 2010-2011. So, thank you very much, Karim. And, uh, so, thank you one and all. Please do have your lunch, enjoy your lunch. And as I said, uh, the certificates would be collected later by you. I have a small task, my event team has uh, reminded me there is a small memento. You see, we have stopped giving flowers to dignitaries uh, because some of our colleagues pointed out that we should not uh, destroy trees, flowers, etc. So instead, we have some small mementos on behalf of the project which I would like to give to our guests, President Shri Parucha. Thank you so much. Thank you, Madam.